there was a lot of information that a lot of the public, given what we held last Wednesday, a lot of the public um, have wanted to know what is the impact of what has happened in the last one week uh, by the High Court's intervention on the Adani matters. And I was uh, going to ask maybe um, if we could emphasize maybe three things uh, as we open the plenary. You know, just a month and a half ago, the issue broke that Guatamandani or Andani group of companies had taken control of three sectorial uh, uh, critical collateral investments in Kenya, including Kentraco, which was to deal with a power distribution network, the health uh, disbursement system of SHAF, and the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport um, uh, with regard to aviation. The deals, uh, if you remember on Ketraco, you are talking about a 95 billion deal of 120 billion at the shaft and 238 billion in terms of the aviation seizure. So over 400 billion shillings over 30 years were going to be um, apportioned uh, to the Adani group in secret. Uh, Kenyans need to remember that part of the reason we are at the High Court was because there has been no tender or public participation or involvement in any of the three transactions that brought a worry to Kenyans that through a hidden and secretive adventure called PPP, the government of William Ruto was trying to assign critical uh, infrastructure investment category categories uh, to uh, a group where public scrutiny, public participation, public awareness was absent. And what had happened a month ago was that all that information was being held in secret in all the three sectors so that Kenyans could not be able to, uh, first of all, not even go to court, but even interpret or digest what that endeavor was. Part of what has succeeded, thank God, in the last couple of days has been the, the change in the motors apparatus has been that now Kenyans are more informed, more aware of these transactions that has led to um, court actions. And by the end of last week, certain successes started to come from the High Court in way of the High Court issuing conservatory orders. For the Kenyans uh, on this space who do not know what conservatory orders are, conservatory orders are the most lethal uh, tool available to judges uh, in the High Court because they are known in legal architecture as 360 uh, instruments because they deal with what had not happened, what happened, how it happened, and the way forward. So conservatory orders return the matter to where it was in its original form, pending hearing and determination of the case. So last week, uh, the High Court uh, in Nairobi awarded the Law Society of Kenya conservatory orders against Contraco, Contraco and that brought the Adani solutions deal of 95 billion or thereabout back to stage zero as it was from the beginning. In that petition at the High Court, the Law Society of Kenya is seeking to declare unconstitutional what happened in that transaction. And therefore they have a petition in the High Court challenging not just uh, the transaction, but challenging the constitutionality of the PPP, meaning the private-private uh, partnership, which the government has used in all the three other, all the other two cases, but the three of them in total. Now, coming up to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, 
Uh, I have seen there has been a bit of confusion between the Tony Gashoka case and the case of the Law Society of Kenya. And I think it's very important to give a brief so that everybody is abreast. Uh, about uh, last month, the Law Society of Kenya went to court on the issue of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, but they went in, 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 in a procedure in court called Judicial Review, or JR. And in that application uh, of Judicial Review, the court gave conservatory orders. And those orders were supposed to exist up to the 25th uh, of, uh, of, of October, uh, which is the end of last week, uh, until the court found whether or not they were going to empanel three judges to take over the matter because that was the application of the LSK. Now, when the court sat on the 25th, the, and the, the judge agreed that the case brought serious questions of law and needed to empanel three judges. So he retained the conservatory orders and appointed or sent a letter to the chief justice or a request to the chief justice to establish a three bench judge. Now, where that is favorable to the Tony Gashoka case is that the Tony Gashoka case is like is a case of constitutional uh, petition, is a constitutional petition, not judicial review, seeking to declare unconstitutional the private uh, public partnership and the entire transaction as null and void. But luckily, because there were already existing conservatory orders, and now the, that case has been referred to the Chief Justice for three bench judge, then our case, which comes up on the 11th of November, and has not, nothing, it's a very important case, we are seeking to get orders so that these cases are consolidated and that they all appear before the three bench judge together. And that is not to say that we are part of the LSK case. Theirs is a different case and mine is a different case, but they will all be hard together because they raise similar issues and they are of the same subject matter. But theirs is a judicial review and this other one is a constitutional petition. So in other words, in one week, the High Court was able to maintain the conservatory orders against the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and get new orders against Kentraco. And that is why the subject of today, that Andani seems to have lost momentum or his deals are clambering, is because all of a sudden, none of them are going ahead. The High Court has reversed them to the point of origin, pending the hearing and the determination of those cases. And that is where now the uh, rubber hits the road. How good will our case be? How persuasive will our case be on both law and facts in order to persuade the judges, the three judges, that this court uh, must uphold uh, the conservatory orders and cancel and, and, and stop those transactions permanently. So what I was saying to Kenyans, given where we were last month, a month and a half, and where we are now, and Danny is the one whose back is against the wall. Before that, the Kenyans' back were against the wall. We have advantage of our Dani and the wind is behind our sails. Sai ni wakati wa kujichunga. Hakuna serikali ya kukuchunga wewe. Na nilisimama hapa juzi nikawaambia kuwa hakuna serikali sai ya William Ruto. Niliwaambia rais William Ruto ndio rais wa kwanza kuweka watu kukinapu watu na kuwaua. And I quote Mother Karua. Mother Karua jana alikuja tu ope. Naka tuambia kuwa iyo mpango ya William Ruto. Ati kuna wengine wamekwa pale kwa deputy president. Ati wengine wako kule nano. Mimi nataka kuambia. Mujichunge my friend. Mutu wa kwanza ati anataka kutumaliza sisi wote. Ni mkubwa. Anaitua Rais William Ruto. Mijini wote, si sisi wote. Wewe tembea na makini maivre, na kuambia utakufa. Haya. Na kuambia tembea makini. Kitu ambayo mimi nataka kuambia wanainchi. Saa hii inafatu ungani kama wakenya. Usikuja hapa kutuambia ati wewe ni mujaruo. So what? Umepiga kura kuanzia tuo tu. 
mutaruo mwenzako bado uko kwa mabasi <laughs> mimi muluya nimejaribu kufuata hao watu bado niko kwa mabasi <laughs> mimi nataka kuambia wananchi we are going to change our politics in future now 2027 we are going to change it and the only thing that is going to make sure we change our our politics is to make sure that William Ruto and Raila Odinga goes home wacha niwaambie wananchi wale watu wanatufanya sisi maskini huyu mwingine ametutembeza kutoka tu tu Paka twenty, my friend. Paka tu tu sai twenty twenty four. Atuja, wacha sumungoje ni wambiye. Sasa, sasa my friend, tu katembe na e. Saya koko amino fusisi tu kujakarat. Anai kwa na hira kwa ni nimuki. Wacha ni wambi. Kuna muki na mekuja. Tu akanza campaign. Akasema ati sasa atasaidia mama mboga. Atasaidia mtu wa boda boda. Hatukua tunajua wote ni fisi wawili wanajua msitu mmoja. Na wacha nikwambie kuwa mgeni kwa msitu. Wewe ndio wa kwanza kufukuzwa. Si mnaona Ricardo Kashago amefukuzwa. <laughs> Sababu wale wawili wanajua hii msitu mzuri, mzuri. Sasa mimi nawaomba wa Kenya haijalishi wewe ni mjaluo ama muluya ama mkamba ama mpokota ama msomali. Sisi wote ni wa Kenya. Ninaomba tukuche pamoja. Tukiwa pamoja hizi fisi mbili tutaishida. Unajua hizi fisi mbili zote zinakula Kenya. Mimi <laughs> nawaambia ukweli. Na mwenye anaona naongea vibaya. Hebu ndio angalie mahali anaishi kama sio kwa mabati. <laughs> Sababu wacha niwaambie hakuna siku utaona Raila Odinga anaenda kufanya campaign Karen. Karen kuna matajiri. Hakuna siku utaona William Ruto anasimama juu ya gari Roresho ama Runda anaendanga mahali kijiji iko. Mahali anajua lazima niwafanye wakue pua, ni wa promise ati ndio akalia round hii. Enda muambie Raila na William Ruto, hiyo ukumbavu yao wapeleke Karen ama Runda. Sahi maneno ya mkuru Kayaba. Maneno ya mkuru Kayaba. Kibila, Kawangware, my friend wakikuja tu tutawakimbiza sababu wao ndio wanafanya sisi tunakuwa maskini. Mnasikia wa Kenya? Unanipata mzuri. Tutaungana ama tutaungana? Tutaungana ama tutaungana? Tutaungana. Kama wa Kenya, natuongeze Kenya yetu mbele. Asante. Asante sana kwa kutazama wa Source TV. Kama uja subscribe na kuomba uweze kusubscribe. Kama umesubscribe nasema asante sana. Unaweza finya notification bell ndio wakati wote tunapata habari kama hii unakuwa wa kwanza kuipata. Hadi wakati mwingine nakutakia mchana ama usiku mwema. Asante sana.